Hello everybody, welcome to my workshop and welcome to my garage. Today what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the pickups for the warmest strap build. Uh, we'll be assembling the single coil bobbins. We'll also be hopefully winding the bobbins today as well as the humbucker bobbins and maybe even get to the assembly of the humbucker itself. What we'll be doing first is just kind of give you an overview on the components and what's going together with this and then we'll just snap to some other footage of me fast forwarding because you definitely don't want to watch me wind you know 16,000 winds of copper wire on the pickups. So hopefully you can see this okay. Uh, what we've got is we've got the uh, cream and black bobbins for the humbucker. These are the 53 millimeter F spaced bobbins to allow for the Floyd Rose tremolo slightly wider there. We've got the flat work for the single coils. Uh, we're going to be doing two single coils on those. I've also got the magnets laid out, uh, the staggered magnets. I've got the arbor press there and that's what we'll be using to push in the magnets on the pickups uh, and then we'll go on and install the top and I'll take videos of that as we go. So, we've got the pickups assembled. Uh, the bobbins are all together. Basically, you saw I pressed the uh, magnets in with the arbor press and then some super glue around the magnets where they attach to the flat work. And that's to keep them from separating when you wind the, the coil on. Also, you'll notice that I've put some tape on the inside of the bobbin. Uh, that's so when I start winding the wire on, the wire doesn't sit directly on the magnet. It's got that little bit of tape there to insulate it. So now the next step is to go ahead and get these attached to the winder and, and do the winding.
Alright, so off camera, what I've done is I've went ahead and got the wire threaded through. I'm using four connector wire for this. I've already soldered the ground to the base plate. Uh, and then I've got the four wires coming off to, to solder onto the pickup. Start and stop for each bobbin. So what we'll do now is we'll just go through the assembly of this really quick, the assembly, uh, and then we'll solder it up. Screws are normally your south side polarity and your slugs are usually your north side polarity. So what we're going to do here is uh, it's going to be screws first, the screw side first, closest to the wire that I have logged on there. We got the keeper bar, so that's why I only put the screws part way through to start with. Now with the keeper bar on it, I can thread the screws through the keeper bar to make sure that they're going to fit there without, because sometimes there's a little twist or something on the keeper bar. and. Uh, Running all the screws through individually here really helps when you go to screw it into the base plate. Okay, I actually changed my mind. I'm going to go with the uh, Alnico 4 magnet. And I'm using a rough cast as well. There's slight differences between the rough cast and the smooth ones. Uh, the rough cast ones give a little bit different magnetic field to them than what a smooth one will be. So that's what we're going to We're going to try the Alnico 4. Like I said, it's an experiment for the guitar. If I don't like the 4, I'll go back to the 5. I know what these, this pickup sounds like with an Alnico 5 in it. I know what it sounds like with an Alnico 2, so maybe that Alnico 4 will be right kind of in a little bit different spot and give it a good sound. Okay, sorry about that. My other camera died, so what I, what I was talking about was the magnet. Along the long edge is where you measure your north and south polarity. So what I want is the screw size to be south and the slugs to be north. So I have this tester, and when I put it on there, it's got a little ball in it that'll flip. So when I go to the screw side, it comes up black, black means north, or black means south. When I put it on the slug side, it flips over to white. So the white side is the, is the north side. So that's exactly what I want it to be, okay? So what I've done is I've got the magnet installed, I've tightened it down, I've left a little room in the front here, and now I'm gonna just solder up these wires on the pickup to the four wire connector. So I gotta so solder all the slugs together to my four wire connector, and this pickup will be complete. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to basically charge the magnets for the pickups because these, the pickup poles that went in didn't have a charge to them yet. So basically, these are Alnico 5s, so, and I've got some Neo magnets, rare earth magnets, set up in the vise. So what you want to do is because I want my neck pickup, this is my neck pickup, I want it to be south polarity. All right. So what I'm going to do is if I run it through this with the north 
side here, south side here, that means the charge is going towards the south because like this is a track, I'll close this up a little bit to where it's just wide enough and then I pass the pickup through between those neo magnets a few times. And now these will be charged. This one should be a south charge. So I got my checker here and if the, if the white pops, if the little thing pops black, that means it's charged south. And it is. If I flip it over, I can see that the other end of the magnet is charged white. So black is south, black, white is north. So this one, my neck pickup has a south polarity to it. My middle pickup, I want to have a north polarity because when I go to position four on the, the position on the switch, I want it to be like a humbucker and cancel out the hum like it would on a strat. So in position, this is my neck pickup. In position, this will be charged, like I said, with north polarity. That way it's reverse wind, reverse polarity because you can see here too, the start wires are different. Now all that's left to do is wait for my wax to finish melting to wax pot the pickups. So we'll be back in a bit. All right, it's been 10 minutes. The bubbles have stopped. It's time to pull them out. Let them drain off a little bit as I pull them out. So that's all the pickups done. All the, the wound, wax potted, ready to go in. So that's it for this video. I want to say again, thank you very much for uh, tuning in. If you like the video, please click like and subscribe. That way you can keep up with the build. You'll also be able to follow me on my great guitar build off when I start that. And I'll be doing some other pickup windings as well uh, with uh, humbucker pickups, maybe going a little bit slower on how they go together and everything like that. This one was kind of a fast one, kind of an overview. So again, thank you very much. Look forward to next time. Take care.